Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to give you an update on how the bulbs are doing here in our cut flower garden. As you can see from the blooms behind us, things are going well so far. I also plan on harvesting whatever is ready in this first row of daffodils so that we can make some flower deliveries. Here they all are. We've got four rows of bulbs here. Uh, they're 60 feet long, about two feet wide, I want to say. And we did four rows of bulbs per run here. So this first row is completely full of daffodils. This next row is full of tulips. And then at the very end, we've got some daffodils. And then we've got a row of lily flowering tulips and a row of double tulips right here. And you can see that these are later flowering varieties. These are coming out a little bit earlier. In fact, let's get closer to these. These are called best pink. Aren't they gorgeous? This is the most beautiful color of pink. Just beyond that, we've got the best white. Lots of color showing up there. And then further on down the way, we've got the best yellow red. That's like an orange red almost. So all of these tulips are the best tulips, which all of these bulbs came from color blends. We planted all of them last fall uh, and they've got like best purple, best pink, best white. So I just picked one out, you know, of each color category and have them all planted in color blocks here. And you know, this whole thing was a planting experiment for us because I was looking at how many bulbs we needed to get in the ground. I had my auger out and I just thought, oh, this is gonna take forever to use the auger to dig all the holes. It would take even longer to do the trench method. So we decided to instead kind of just place the bulbs on top of the ground, like the normal soil level and then just mound compost on top of them. And it worked. <laughs> and we did deal with a little bit of settling. Like we started with about six inches of compost on top of all the bulbs and it settled during the course of the winter, you know, as more moisture came, but I mean, they're doing great. And my intention for these, we're not leaving them here because you know, we do a lot of crop rotation out here in the cut flower garden. And this quadrant specifically is meant for annuals. That quadrant, we do dahlias and usually zinnias. This quadrant over here is going to be designated for more perennial type plants. And then this quadrant has become our rose garden. So I really wanna focus, especially on these front rows that line our lane. I want high color, high impact things because even if we don't get around to cutting, cause we don't grow these uh, flowers to sell them. We grow one for the experience of growing things and sharing it with you guys. And then also like today, all the daffodils we pick, we're just gonna uh, give away, which is always a fun thing to do. And my main thing, I just get so much joy from growing it and seeing something be successful because not all experiments turn out like this. Not all of them work, but you know, you gotta try it to see. So let's run through one at a time, the varieties we have in this first row. These are topsy-turvy and it's a little bit of a mix. Like there's some that are a little bit more yellow and you can see that these have like the cup in the center instead of looking like a trumpet it folds back on itself, like on the back petals. And it just looks so frilly and fluffy and beautiful. And then some of them, like right down here, have a little bit more uh, like peach in them. Some are a little bit more yellow. There's a peachy one right there, more yellow right there. The next variety is Casada. See that? Again, another fluffy, pale buttery yellow. I love the color of this one. Then we have Tom Poos right here. These are so beautiful with that peach center and the yellow outer petals. Just really unique looking. The next variety is Precocious. And you can see that these are a little bit later, either that or they're struggling more than the others. Oh, look at that. That beautiful peach colored fluffy trumpet in the center or cup. I don't know what people call them. I'm just going to use those two terms interchangeably, probably. And then we have accent, which is more of a simple, you've got kind of the same colors as the precocious, but the center cup is a little bit more simple. Then we've got Delnis Ha, which is another double, not very many of them blooming yet, but oh my gosh, this one's just starting to open, but they get super full. There's tons of buds. Look at that. And they've got a very fluffy peach and creamy white flower. And then we've got Bella Estrella, which doesn't that mean beautiful star? Isn't that gorgeous? And they have a little bit more of a dainty look to them. So pretty. And then these, oh my goodness, we had so much rain yesterday and this morning, and I think we're expecting more today. But so they're kind of weighed down some of them. These are Queen's Day. Look at those. It's like a celebration flower right there. Next is Flower Parade. 
Another one that's a little bit later, but maybe we can see right here what we've got. Oh, look at that. Kind of like the Delna saw, but the fluffy part in the center is a little bit more saturated orange. And then we've got frosty snow. Aren't those beautiful? And across the way, I had to spill over into our tulip row with the watch up variety. Look at that trumpet in the center. It's so long. They're so, so pretty. These are like Alice in Wonderland dafts to me. Got a few little weeds in here, not too bad. But the rest of this row, and we might pick a few tulips here today, but it's fun to see a little bit of color showing up. Oh, I'm just so thrilled with this. I can't even believe it. I wasn't sure about the whole compost thing. I thought, well, one, are they getting enough insulation? Two, are they gonna have shorter stems just because they're planted differently? There are a couple varieties that are kind of showing shorter stems, like the best purples right here, which I have best purples planted in another location. They're way taller than this but I'm not seeing that on all varieties. You know, these are looking a little bit more normal height. And really the only other thing we have going in this space so far are the ranunculus, which are looking really good. Putting on a lot of growth since we planted them. See down the way there. Love this low cat tunnel. I've got a few buckets and my snips, and I also need to go grab a kneeling pad because it's so soggy out here. I forgot to grab one, but as soon as we do, We'll just start cutting these. We'll take them back into the shed and get them arranged into jars. Now daffodils do have like a sap in their stems, which they say it shortens the vase life of other things that you put with them, uh, unless you condition the flowers first, which I think you just cut the daffs, put them in a bucket of water for, I don't know if there's a certain time frame, but I would think a couple hours, maybe an hour. I've never had daffodils shorten the vase life of any of my arrangements that I, that I can remember, and I mix them with a lot of different things, but. Uh, they're just going to be going in just daffodils in these jars, so I think we'll be all right. just under halfway done cutting the flowers, but I ran out of bucket space. So I brought them here to the flower shed so we could start making bouquets and then we'll take the buckets back out and pick the rest. And they are just looking so cheerful. Look at these. And we have a whole menagerie of different jars and vases that we can pull from. I like the wide mouth jars best. Like this one right here is awesome. So I've got some fresh clean water here and this part will be easy. Oh, I've got an extra bucket back here. 
wonder where all my buckets go. I've got a whole bunch. So for this type of arrangement where I'm pretty much just going to be doing the same variety of daffodil in each jar, I think. Some of them have longer stems, so I'm going to go through those first so we can use up some taller jars. Uh, but I like to just arrange them as I'm holding them. And once I feel like it's a nice big bunch and it's kind of uniform and pleasing to look at, then I'll take my snips and cut the ends and pop them down in the jar. It started to rain. I think it's raining outside. There, that looks really nice. Oh, pretty. There we go. Not fancy, but very cheerful and happy and sweet. And easy. <laughs> Eleven bouquets so far and they're just jam-packed full of blooms, each one of them. I just wanted them to look abundant and bright and happy and I think we've achieved that. I mean, look at these. So the bigger jars of course have more flowers in them and I tried to go through all the longer stems first so that we could use up the big jars and then uh, for the shorter ones it's nice to have a few little dainty jars out here and it's still a really like very full bouquet. Look at this one right here. So beautiful. And then I'll add a few more to this vase when we bring the others in. I think we can get the rest of these dafts cut because I found that extra bucket in here. So let's go get that done.
26 bouquets. Aren't they gorgeous? I love seeing all the variety here too with the pastel kind of tones. We've got the bright, full, happy yellow. I love that peachy pink color in the center of that one. And there's just that soft, buttery yellow. This is the watch, what, watch up, right? I think that's so neat. I'd love to plant more of those. And then the Bella Estrellas just look so dainty and delicate. But I love each and every one of these bouquets. So 26 bouquets means we get to brighten the day of 26 people, which is so fun. I'm gonna go grab Benjamin and see if he wants to maybe pick out one of each of these to give one to my mom and one to Aaron's mom. And then I think we're going to drop the rest of them off at an assisted living uh, facility, the one that we planted up the uh, raised bed planter in their entryway last spring. And maybe we'll be able to do it again this year. I am not going to film in there though, because I don't know I'm coming. Uh, and I just wanna respect all of the residents' privacy. But anyway, I'll go see if Benjamin wants to come deliver some joy with me. You guys ready to deliver flowers? Yeah. Yay! We are gonna head down to the garden center first uh, to drop off my mom's flowers. And I just realized that Erin's mom left for a trip yesterday, yesterday, I think, or today. So she's not home. <laughs> are you laughing at me? Yeah. Why? <laughs> anyway, then we'll take the rest of them to the assisted living facility. Okay, why don't you put your arms stuff, out? Like Lego boxes. There you go, you got it. Okay, let's go find Nana. There she is. Hello. Aaron, hi. Oh, look at those shoes. Look how cute. Hey, Benjamin, did you want to have Nana pick out some flowers? Let's open up the back here. Okay, so pick out whichever one you like the best. They're All gorgeous. of you. Guess which one? Guess which one you want? Yeah. Oh, geez, I don't know. Peach yeah. or that? Yeah. You like that one the best? I Isn't it pretty? I love, it. I love this salmon peachy pink. And there's one Delnasa in there. Look at it. One, one, the rest of them I haven't uh, opened yet. That one's outstanding. Which one is your fave, Monica's? That one? I like a little petite thing. You, yeah. yeah. Sorry, that was. I like seeing some of these peachy ones, but then the yellow too. Nice. Joe happened to be here too, so he's going to take some home. I'm going to get the hard ones. You can get whatever you want. Yeah. Just slide it right on out. Yep. You want me to reach down in there and get it? I got them packed in there pretty, pretty tight. Very nice. Those are called Tom Poos. <laughs> okay, so Benjamin's going to stay and work. <laughs> well, the, yes, while we go deliver the flowers. Samantha Grace, let's go deliver flowers and we're going to come right back. Can you hand those to Monica? Okay, Benjamin, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, we made it to Wellsprings. This is the planter. Do you guys remember? We planted this up last year. So, and it did really well. They took such great care of it and it was so beautiful. Uh, so I'm just going to go in and let them know we're here with some flowers. We're going to just drop them off and then they distribute them to the residents. So anyway, that's pretty much it. And I'm glad you were able to come along, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> and I know Benjamin was excited to stay down at Andrews and work. So anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. I just wanted to bring you along for this one, really just to update you on how the cut flower garden bulbs were doing and how that experiment went. And I'm just so thrilled with the uh, success with it so far. And it's probably something that I would and will do again. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today and we will see you in the next video. Bye.